A Silicon Valley startup this morning is preparing to launch an invention that could change how many industries do business. Workers at the company called Carbon built an innovative 3D printer. They say it's capable of building parts for cars and planes. It's even creating movie props faster and better than any previous technology could. John Blackstone met with the chemist whose Hollywood fantasy became a reality. This is the machine. That you're Jody Simone's machine, the M1, is a 3D printer inspired by science fiction. Wendy Simone, a chemist, saw the robot T-1000 rise from a molten pool in the movie Terminator 2. He imagined a machine that would do something similar. It has a symmetry such that you can't injection mold it. In a TED talk last year, he demonstrated an early prototype, growing a complex sphere from a liquid pool in minutes. There it is. That's great. Now his company, Carbon, is unveiling its first commercial printer, a machine capable of making everything from cushioning for running shoes. This is going to be a new midsole design for sneakers. To complex car parts. This actually has multiple pieces that was printed all as one part. This moves, but this was all printed together. That's right. Through the years, factory floors have had multiple machines, each designed for one specific job, from bolting to soldering to shaping parts. With his new invention, De Simone imagines nothing less than a manufacturing revolution. Think about a place that has a hundred of these machines, and what's really cool is, as you change what products you want to make, you don't have to change the factory floor. Until now, 3D printers have operated by slowly building layer upon layer of material, a time-consuming process used mostly to create prototypes. What other 3D printers do in hours, the M1 does in minutes. And not just prototypes, but finished products ready to be used. This is very hard. This is very flexible. Come out of the same machine. Same machine. It's all about chemistry. The speed and flexibility opens a wide range of possibilities. Complex medical devices, whether it's inside of your heart or your kneecap or, or your feet or your teeth or your ears. Legacy Effects Studio is one of the lucky few, along with BMW and Ford, given the opportunity to spend months testing Carbon's new printer. How is this technology being looked upon, I guess, in that 3D printing community? They walked up to the industry and dropped a grenade and walked away. Jason Lope says 3D printing has been part of their creations for years. But when a commercial needed an Easter bunny on short notice, Carbon's printer provided a faster solution. I came in at 7 in the morning printed out the bunny, I handed it over by 8 in the morning. It was finished, painted, and brought on set by 10.30 a.m. and shot. Quick as a bunny. Quick as a bunny. From creatures. This is for part of the Alien franchise. To practical parts. You name it, we make it. And in a way, bringing the machine back to its inspiration. One of the first projects we did on it was for the Terminator Genesis collectibles. How ironic can that be? 3D printing was invented more than 30 years ago amid high hopes and plenty of hype. The factory of the future may still be a long way off. But when it arrives, it could be a good example of life imitating art. For CBS This Morning, John Blackstone, Redwood City, California. The uses for that in the future are just incredible. Yeah. 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 Especially the medical stuff. Yeah, the medical stuff. Is Speechless, actually, <laughs> at what they can do next.